you caught me in tree pose. I was just breathing some of the beautiful Nevada air here at Red Rock Canyon. Excited to share with you all about the circulatory system. Did you know here in America, over 90% of all of the children already have one symptom of heart disease? And it gets even better than that. We're looking at 2,500 people dying every single day from heart disease. And worldwide, we are looking at half of all deaths coming from cancer, heart disease, and stroke. All of them have to do with the circulatory system. So today, we're going to explain the circulatory system in four minutes to you so you can be empowered to take control of that incredible system. That amazing heart of yours beats 100,000 times a day. It can circulate blood through your system in one minute, and it only takes 20 seconds for a red blood cell to circulate the entire body. That's faster than I talk. So if you're wondering how this system works, let's cover that. So when you eat, you digest the food. It comes down into the small villi in, that, in the intestinal tract, and it's sucked up into those capillaries, just waiting for the nutrients from your blood. As that comes in from your stomach, it is taken into the liver, and it's process in the liver, but that's a different video. And then as the veins come up, it picks up nutrients. It brings those nutrients up into the right atrium, right ventricle, and then it goes through the pulmonary arteries to get oxygen. Nutrients, boom, boom, oxygen. Then it takes that blood out of the pulmonary system, back into the circulatory system, into the left atrium, then left ventricle, and then Kapow! Nutrients, boom, boom, oxygen, kapow! To every single cell in the body is being delivered nutrients and oxygen. Everything you ate, everything you breathed is now in your circulatory system. Feeling a little heart tremor? Are you having a little bit of high blood pressure? Could it be that your filters are clogged? Could it be there's too much sludge in your blood? By eating a high fat diet, processed food, having toxins or being stressed out, you are causing heart issues. I'll tell you a story. So one of our graduates of our therapeutic nutritional counseling program shared this story about her daughter. Her daughter was a starving college student and wanted to donate plasma. So she went to donate plasma one Tuesday afternoon. And while sitting Sitting there, after about 15 minutes, the man running the entire donation said, Oh my goodness, we have to stop. Your blood has clogged our unit. What did you have for breakfast? Oh, I had an egg McMuffin. What did you have for dinner last night? Oh, I had pizza. Well, ma'am, all of the fat in your blood has clogged the system. Sorry, no money for you today. And she realized that everything that she had eaten had gone into her bloodstream. Phlebotomists will tell you if it's white and milky blood, you're looking at a bunch of fat. If there's little white dots all over, you have a candida or yeast overgrowth. You see a bunch of little black dots and it might be heavy metals or bacteria. Your blood tells you what's going on because it's all in the so let me tell you a story about my very good friend Ruby. So I bought Ruby when she was brand new and I wanted to take good care of that fancy expensive car of mine. So I decided I better change her filters. I take care of her oil filter, her air filter and her fuel filter. And you have filters too. And they cleanse your blood. You have tonsils, you have lungs, you have kidneys, you have a spleen, you have lymph nodes all over the bottle. Don't remove those lymph nodes. Organ renewal, not organ removal. Our filters clean our blood and we are what we eat. Your heart disease can go away. Your stroke, you don't have to fear. If you take control of your body and you clean up your diet, you will live free of heart disease forever. <laughs> so what's exactly circulating in your blood today?